this is om shri krishna so today in this video you will see some of the basic questions so the first one is a first pure blood supplying to which part of the baby in the womb okay the baby is present in the womb so the blood which is uh, <coughs> which is going to the baby body okay which is the blood which is going to the from mother to fetus okay so pure blood so pure blood is reaches to which part of the which part of the baby body okay options are umbilicus liver heart and kidney so the right one is option b okay option b is the liver so firstly the pure blood which is coming from the umbilicus it is directly goes to the liver first okay so after that after that it goes to the heart okay that is from the umbilicus umbilicus to uh, liver is through the ductus ductus venosus okay so the ductus venosus and uh, <coughs> the pure blood which is supplying to the baby um, body first part is the liver so the next question is at which age one of the umbilical vein is disappear okay so umbilical cord consists of normally two veins and two arteries so after how much time how much days how much months the one of the blood vessel that is vein it is right vein okay so it is disappear after how many months options are option a second month option b fourth month option c first month option d none of the above so the right one is option b fourth month so at the time of fourth month the right umbilical vein is disappear so after that the umbilical cord consist of one vein and two arteries so the next one is oxygen saturation level in the umbilical artery so how much of the oxygen saturation present in the umbilical artery blood options are 30 to 40% percent, 40 to 60% percent, 50 to 60% percent, finally 92 percent so the right one is option c that is 50 to 60 percent of the oxygenated blood present in the umbilical artery the next one is the primary source of heat in the body so in the in our body uh, the mainly the primary source of heat production in our body is options are sunlight it is from the external metabolism it is inside the body heartbeat or the blood circulation so the right one is option b okay by the metabolism the heat will be produced during the metabolic reactions okay so metabolism will be taking place in the metabolism will be taking place in the cells of cells okay so the the nutrients which are uh, absorbed in the body finally it goes to the cells okay so in the cells there is a reaction those are called metabolic reaction so in that process only the heat will be produced okay the next question is the sequence of physical examination when assessing the abdomen so when you are going to assess the physical examination of the patient mainly for the abdomen so which steps you are going to be follow options are option a inspection auscultation percussion palpation option b inspection percussion palpation and auscultation option c auscultation inspection percussion and palpation 
Finally, option D, palpation, auscultation, inspection and percussion. So, which method and uh, which uh, which method you are going to be follow when you are going to assess the a patient with uh, abdominal pain or something else okay when you are going to assess the abdomen of the patient so which of the steps you are going to be followed the right one is option a okay so option a is the inspection so firstly you are going to inspect the what are all the abnormalities we can find out by externally okay and then you are going to auscultate by the stethoscope to listen the uh, intestinal movements and then percussion for the any mass presence palpation is for the any pay, uh, uh, pain or any mass tumor or something else to palpate okay you can palpate the whatever the abnormalities present by the hand okay percussion is nothing but you are going to press pressing by pressing you can assess auscultation is the listening inspection is the vision okay seeing so this is the a method for the abdomen assessment so after that when you are going to assess for the a whole body okay whole body physical examination so you can assess by the first one is the auscultation okay first one is the auscultation sorry sorry so total body physical examination so first you go for the inspection okay and then you go for the palpation and after the percussion and auscultation so this is for the normal body physical examination so the next question is cardex notes is to so what is the use of cardex when we are using the when we are using the a cardex notes with the patient so the options are option a needs and medical information of the patient so what is the purpose of cardex is it need for and medical information of the patient otherwise condition of the patient otherwise health status of the patient or all of the above so the right one is option a okay so cardex notes is nothing but we use when we are studying in our nursing education institutions okay in that time we will write a cardex notes for the patient that is during our clinical postings and all so in some of the hospitals also they are using the cardex okay so mostly most of the hospitals are not using this one so the main purpose of the cardex is nothing but it is to know the needs and medical information of the patient so for each shift okay for each shift morning evening and night shift for each shift we will plan and we will write the cardex notes and the next one is what is the purpose of removing nail polish before surgery for the patient options are it divert the mind of the doctor to see cyanosis in the body it causes irritation during the surgery all of the above so what is the main reason to remove the nail polish for the patient before before going to the operation theater so the option b is the right one okay so to see the cyanosis in the body the doctors can assess by seeing the nails okay so that's reason only we need to remove the nail polish for the patients so when it is bluish color the sinus uh, the sinus can be present okay so otherwise if it is white or the pink color it could be a normal but it, it if it is become a blue color it is going to be risk for the sinusis 
the next one is code of ethics for nurses is given by so who are started the who are developed the code of ethics for the nurses options are who world health organization option b american nurses association that is nothing but ana option c tanai option d nabh so the right one is option b a n a american nurses association has developed the code of ethics for the nurses so code of ethics are nothing but the right and wrong otherwise rules or um, uh, rules and uh, regulations okay so working beliefs or the hopes okay so everything is based on the treatment for the patients quality treatment for the patient as well as safety and security of the nurses that is code of ethics the next one is a low pitched continuous gurgling sounds caused by secretions in the large airways is called options are wheezing wheezing raunchy coughing strider the right one is option b okay that is raunchy so raunchy is nothing so it is a, a large airway sounds okay large airway is nothing but bronchi or the trachea so these sounds can be uh, listening like a bubbling okay bubbling it is nothing but like a bubbles in the water okay it otherwise gargling so these sounds can be here during the both inhalation inhalation and exhalation okay inspiration or the expression so during this both times we can hear the a continuous gargling sound it is called a raunchy the next question is lateral curvature of the spine is called options are kyphosis lordosis scoliosis none of the above the right one is option c scoliosis so scoliosis is nothing but the vertebral column it will be looks like okay the lateral curvature of the vertebral column can be seen in the case of scoliosis so the lordosis is nothing but anterior curvature okay kyphosis is nothing but posterior curvature of the spinal cord otherwise vertebral column the next one is of which of the following is used to assess the function of the brain stem options are glasgow coma scale cold calorie test braden scale intracranial pressure so among these four options which one you will use to assess the function of the brain stem so the right one is option b cold calorie test can be used to find out the any abnormality okay in the case of brain stem so the next question is von becker scale used to assess so what is the purpose of using von becker scale options are fever pain mood all of this so the right one is option b pain to assess the pain in the patient okay so in the von becker scale we can see the emojis like no pain okay little pain or more pain like that we we will see emojis so this is made by the von becker so it is also known as the pain rating scale pain rating scale the next one is in diabetic ketoacidosis patient 
which electrolyte should be replaced so in the case of patient with diabetic keto acidosis so what will happen in the case of diabetic keto acidosis so in this condition the body will produce the excess amount of the acids it is nothing but ketones okay ketones are the ketone bodies which are produced in the case of diabetic keto acidosis so in this condition when there is, is not enough enough insulin produced in the body so it can cause for the infection otherwise other illnesses will be going to happen in the case of diabetic keto acidosis so in this position we need to replace the sodium okay by replace the sodium we can reduce the formation of the ketone bodies okay ketone bodies can be stop the production so where we, uh, where the ketone bodies can be produced that is from the liver okay so from the liver the ketone bodies can be produced the next one is myasthenia gravis early symptoms so what is the so which symptoms we can find out in the case of myasthenia gravis options are toysis respiratory difficulties tremors none of the above so which one is the right answer that is option a toysis okay toysis can be seen early sign or the early symptom of the condition with the myasthenia gravis so it is nothing but toysis is nothing but drooling of the eye okay so it can cause the due to the underlying disease that is myasthenia gravis so this myasthenia gravis can be occur due to the damage okay the damage between the nerves and muscle cells so when there is a discommunication otherwise damage between the nerves and the muscles so this condition is known as the myasthenia gravis so in this condition we can observe the early symptom that is toysis toysis is nothing but drooling of the eyelids so this is the end of my class thank you for watching